Warning, the threats and hate are not okay. I don't want to see anyone harassing Nero Cinema, no matter how much I personally disagree with his opinions. This video contains controversial opinions itself that are not suitable for all viewers. If you're a fan of Black Cell, please, no, just be advised. I'm sorry, my clickbait title aside, this video is a response to Nero Cinema's recent anti-shadow company max reward video titled, So I pissed off half the COD community. If you want a clickbait, so will I, Nero. So to begin, like, this is clickbait, and this whole video is a huge straw man for the people that just want COD to look like COD. You know, a military-themed arcade shooter. So Nero, buddy, what are they saying exactly that makes them quote-unquote pissed. Twitter was exploding. I understand that people out there are sitting there like, man, I've wanted this skin forever. How can you say you don't like it? I really want this skin. Pissed. I really want this skin. Okay, so that was a lie. Want more proof? Then stick around to the end of this video because I will be going over the tweets and retweets Nero Cinema actually got on his tweet. Timestamps are of course down in the description if you want to skip right to it. Moving on, I want to talk about the points Nero made and give some genuine representation of the COD community that actually appreciates these military themed outfits and visuals. I swear, every time I mention how silly outfits are not fitting the theme of the game, you got these COD guzzlers. These just spiders that scurry out of the woodworks to mock and belittle you for just having an opinion. I mean, I shouldn't expect anything less out of Twitter, but man, the lengths these individuals go to are wild. I could say something like, oh, I'm not interested in the season, so I'm not gonna buy the battle pass. And they will just force feed their ideologies down your throat. Apparently, I'm coping and I'm bitching. I'm complaining about MW2 skins, but not ones from the past gods. I'm a clown. I'm pissed off. Like, none of this is true, and half of it is just name-calling. And it's not even just that. These types of people go to your friends and ask them to, get this, unfollow you. Yeah, this is how butthurt these people get. They'll paint the most villainous bounty on your head, and they'll just let out their chronically online anger. It's pathetic. But Nero Cinema specifically? Don't get me wrong, he's not that bad of a guy. However, I will not let that sway my opinion either, because he does strawman us too. And to anyone that doesn't know, a strawman is when you take someone's argument, or I guess group, and then regurgitate it incorrectly to change that opinion or paint that group as something stupid or bad. Hence the name Strawman. It's a misrepresentation that's easy to topple over. If I said I like COD more than Fortnite, then someone else says, oh, so you hate Fortnite. That, my homies, is a straw man. I never said I dislike Fortnite. In fact, I love Fortnite. It's just that this person has such a big ego that they gotta misrepresent your opinion. Sometimes it is accidental, but if they do it repeatedly, chances are they are long gone. They are acting in bad faith. So when Nero Cinema says something like this, and on the flip side of things, the people that don't want to use camos on their guns, they want to make their guns look realistic, they want to have a milsim style operator and stuff like that. A lot of them, I mean, I'm sure there's maybe some of you out there, but I feel like the vast majority are nowhere close to getting to level 1,250. They probably enjoy the campaign, they probably do the raids, they probably play DMZ, they probably jump in the multiplayer for a bit and they unlock their guns and go for maybe for a couple of camos, but in general, they're pining over a skin that they're never going to be able to earn anyways. He's reduced us to casuals, not big fans and pining. Oh, he says we are pining to suffer a mental and physical decline, especially because of a broken heart. Oh, oh no. Like, bro, it ain't that deep. Let me get this straight. Like, you're not pining over the fact that this max rank skin isn't an electric one, are you? So why would I say that? Why can't opinions be opinions? It's because he has to grasp at straws to paint us in a bad light. So, hey, Nero, you mentioned, uh, surely most of us aren't anywhere near level 1,250, yeah? because most of us are casuals that don't play the game, so we deserve casual skins. And what was your level again? I'm just looking for something concrete to go by. I'm only like seven days of playtime into Modern Warfare 2, and even then, I'm like level 600 something with like seven days of playtime, and just for context there, I mean, I mostly play shipment. Ah. <laughs> Okay, so I personally got 14 and a half days tracked within MW2, but MW2 stats only started tracking in season two, I think. PlayStation, on the other hand, says I got 33 days played, which has been tracking since launch, but that probably counts the time I spent in the menus and in the campaign. So let's subtract that nine hour campaign and meet up halfway. And that leaves me with 19 days played. The result, level 823. So if Nero's in the 600s, he's either played more and his stats aren't telling him accurate data, or maybe Maybe it's the shit ton of XP he's gotten from acquiring the mastery camos on shipment.
I actually haven't gotten the masteries yet. I'm 47 out of 51 gold and 17 into platinum, so obviously I don't have a lot of potential XP yet. That said, I do want this max level Milsim style skin. I don't know if I mentioned that yet in this video, but I do. And I'm a way higher level than Nero with a hell of a lot more playtime. Sorry fam, I'm not the casual you were looking for. And also the freaking point about us playing the campaign, DMZ and raids, with just a, a bit, a smidge of multiplayer. Why the shade, man? What, you click to be more of a COD fan than the people that play every mode in the game? Sorry, can we rewind that clip again? I mean, I mostly play shipment. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, you're one to speak on the camos and skins people get to unlock in the game that you played 2% of. Fluffin' brilliant, man. This really reminds me of the Twitter replies and even YouTube comments that tell me to just play a milsim like Arsenal Sandstorm if I want military skins only. It's actually bizarre in the first place because a milsim plays nothing like COD, and these people get mad at me for complaining about skins when they think gameplay is the bigger issue. Mother trucker, I don't dislike the gameplay of Modern Warfare 2. If you think gameplay matters more than a skin, and you're playing shipment 24-7 trying to tell people what they should be making for Mastery Gear. I feel like if people do actually earn the Shadow Company skin, you're gonna see people running around on shipment with that skin on, and you're probably not gonna think twice about it. Maybe you should be the one considering a new game, you addicted. I'm sorry, I just, I've been looking for a way to incorporate that clip into my content, and I just finally found the opening. But, seriously though, I hear the free to play, X Defiant is coming out soon, probably around the same time MW3 drops. Maybe you should be the one jumping ship in order to find the gameplay you want, along with the bright and colorful maps and skins. You're the one coping. Heck bro, I, I liked my time on X Defiant, it's more of an arcade shooter than modern COD, and it seems to be more movement based than any of COD's boots on the ground games. Seriously Nero, to everyone else, why don't you just go play that? How do you like damn apples? At least I was considerate enough to recommend a game that makes an ounce of sense considering your visual and gameplay preferences. Alrighty, your rant over. That felt good to get off my chest. I also do want to touch upon the debatable quality of this skin. I too agree that it could have been a tad bit better, but what I have a problem with is the comparison specifically Nero's making. A lore accurate, sought after Shadow Company op versus a fantasy, glow in the dark, visual lightning effects galore. Thunder Wave skin for Zeus. I mean, I get it. You play Shipment, it's the most mundane map in COD history. It's been in what, nine CODs now? In Modern Warfare 22, it's dark and rainy. I'm surprised you can handle that sadness with a ninth reiteration of similar shipment containers. The tiny, most memorable map layout. And oh god, the repetitive spawn deaths. Yeah, you just need the lit up zoo skin to brighten up your mood. You're not the ones that exactly notice skins otherwise. If I was in your shoes, I'd feel as bored out of my mind as you. For the skin itself though, I have some suggestions for Infinity Ward. I'd recommend making the goggles as orange as they were in the promotional art. I think there's easy ways to make skins stand out more without making them look stupid. The orange would signify prestige. But if not, but if not, I do think some sort of milestone system would do wonders. So you get this max rank skin. I think that's great and all, but MW3 for 2023 is on the horizon. It's a little over a month away. I don't think it was a good idea releasing a skin you had to grind the game since launch right now in October. With a month away, I don't see this skin being an incentive worth grinding out if you're a low level like Nero over here, or even lower. And it actually has nothing to do with the skin's value. You just don't have enough time. So what I think, and I hope, Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer Games are gonna do, and this just is a theory, I think they're gonna continue upping the player ranks in MW3. And with that comes more rewards. Not only would this be a smart move on their end, so that we, the Modern Warfare 2 players, can keep grinding for the skins throughout MW3, but also because Sledgehammer Games Games could make more milestone rewards. You guys remember Blackout? <laughs> well, that game had some dope ass rewards for leveling up, and bro, none of them were animated. That's the best part, and people liked it. You could do the same thing for Shadow Company operators. Like, this is only the beginning. Next up, you unlock the Shadow Company bosses, an extra skin for Velkin, and then finally, you get General Shepard himself at the end. How cool would that be? An iconic villain as a playable operator unlocked via playing the game. And now imagine how much of a shame it would be if he was sold to us in a soulless 3000 COD point bundle.
If you're a True Cod fan, you probably felt that. It's just a shame. Vanguard did this last year with Menendez, Silly Pink Fied Rourke, and some other people. And Modern Warfare 3 is doing it this year with the new Makarov skin and his iconic No Russian outfit in the Vault Edition. Soulless is the perfect way to describe what these people want from COD multiplayer. Something you can't look back upon. Why can't you look back upon it, Matsuki? Because they just start blending together as garbage, as cosmetic mush with no correlation to the specific COD title. Is this Modern Warfare or is this mush? Is this mush or is this Modern Warfare 2? That's my point, take it or leave it. I want COD to look like COD again. It's gonna be a real shame, a, a heartbreaker to play these new wonderful reimagined MW2 maps in MW 2023, with all of MW2's bright and mushy garbage roaming around the frozen lakes of Derailed or the rooftops of Favela. Modern Warfare 2's Season 6 Battle Pass is filled to the brim with superhero looking last stand standing Operation Dark Divide-esque glowing skins? It's so damn sad seeing it go out this way. And the Twitter users are lacking as much creativity as per usual. But it's Halloween! The, the, the theme of this season is Halloween, Matsuki! How could you think it doesn't fit to the theme? My brother in Christ. When I'm talking about theme, I'm talking about Modern Warfare 2 as a whole. It has Modern Warfare in the title. Matsuki, the tier 100 skin is in fact modern. He's a crossover from a modern c -c comic book. Bro, how large is your brain capacity? Cause you, you just ain't getting it. Modern Warfare enjoyers, players that play the entirety of the game that you rightfully bought, what theme for Halloween would you guys like to have? Time's up. Was your answer A, random cosmetic book skins, B, more Halloween horror movie crossovers, or C, a bloody campaign accurate ghost team themed season? If your answer was C, you were goddamn 100% correct. Hook line, fucking sinker, that's what I'm talking about, Shadows! You know I love that shit! If this was actually reality, I would be praising to the moon about this just banger content drop. Thank you so much! I'm glad you listened to the fans and not the shipment only stands, is what I would have said if that were true. Yeah, the perfect storm was a brewin, and you blew it, Infinity Ward. You had us OG Modern Warfare fans in mind for MW19, and the beginning of MW2, and you blew it. I hope you're happy. Just spooky skull themed ski masks was all you had to do. Bring back some COD ghost characters if you want. Rourke would have fit into the rebooted MW universe, instead of shoehorning him into a time travel segment in Vanguard. Heck, this could have been Rourke's backstory. You could have given him a skull mask, since he was a good guy at first. He doesn't need to turn evil by some random plant in a pit. Sorry for the ghost campaign spoilers. But hey, maybe make him Makarov's double agent in this universe. Give us something interesting to sink our teeth into, please. <sighs> you want to get hyped for MW3? That would be how you do it. Start linking Ghost's rebooted universe and set up that storyline for the next game. Honestly, why aren't I the creative director? Please hire me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, the last point in Nero's I want to cover is the arguments that Call of Duty should be more milsim or should be more realistic really went out the window over a decade ago. Given the state of Call of Duty since, I don't know, 2013, 2014 or whatever, you know, cosmetics and fun camos, fun operators, they've become a mainstay. The stuff that you can buy will always be better than the stuff that you can earn. This to me seems like a last ditch effort to scrape the bottom of the barrel to prove their point. 10 years, you say? So ghosts, let's hop into a match and see what people are using. Okay guys, I decided to hop on ghosts and instead of one match, I decided to do uh, three to get a larger player pool. This is my back-to-back -back matches. I backed out after every match and I joined a new one. And well, we got 27 players, including myself and zero <laughs> of them are using a silly skin. There's only about 113 players still online, at least on the PS4 and PS5 versions of the game. And well, the player pool I got, the player size, is like a quarter, basically a quarter of the whole player base, and not a single one are using a silly skin. So there you have it. 
Huh, yeah, not really, uh, seeing this so-called silly game. Let's have a look at the shop, though. Ah, here we are. There's these, uh, copy-and-pasted duplicates of some brighter soldier gear. Let me just compare that to the rest of the game through and through, and, uh, yeah, it, uh, really makes up a tiny portion. And people don't really run them because they stick out like a sore thumb. I wouldn't really consider an identity something people don't really identify with. Advanced Warfare is next, and admittedly, it did have a lot of silly skins. But this was the start of COD nosediving away from its core fanbase that liked the boots on the ground combat and that sort of vibe. No one liked the skins they were adding, one of the main ones being this gingerbread skin. Unfortunately, the skin itself was created due to a Make-A-Wish kid's last wish, but the Sledgehammer Games devs used that as a shield to put a dying kid's skin in a loot box to make bank on it, and that paved the way for them to add more wacky and zany skins into the game. They could have taken that kid's wish and added a gingerbread plushie onto that skin's belt or backpack, like a Star Wars Stormtrooper did in Rogue One. But no, they went all out in the loot box era. Next was BO3, and there's a couple skins that really shouldn't be in this VR simulator for soldiers. I'll put them on screen. <laughs> like, I mean, you got an alien here and just a bunch of other stuff. But once we're done with these sort of silly skins, let's move into the far majority of the skins. Like, this is the lists and lists of rows and rows of skins that are like making up the totality of the game. And you just compare the number I've already shown you of the silly skins to this and it just it far outweighs the number and again this was a loot box system no one was actually buying these skins outright no one was actually able to go out and grind for a specific skin to use but yeah infinity ward seemed to be on the og fan side at this point so when they released infinite warfare the game had the best theme going for it unfortunately in the days of summer events they added some extremely rare skins that didn't have helmets on they were still military themes but they just didn't have their helmets which in a space game it's kind of weird oh and the same for the zombie skins added later too one per operator. COD MWR was respectful as hell. Nothing went against that game's theme. COD World War II did pretty good. The only skin I remember going against the theme was that one uh, Halloween Grim Reaper skin. Obviously, it doesn't look like a World War II skin, but it wasn't colorful yet. Oh, but the, the face paints were extremely ugly. Fuck those. <laughs> BO4 also suffered from the ugly face paint syndrome. And BO4 also had random cosmetic seasons starting at season 1. It's probably the worst or second worst COD for its theme because of it. Then you had MW19 coming out, and it was perfect all the way up to Halloween. Oh, by the way, BO4 started this whole death effect movement, and this unfortunately carried over into MW19 at Halloween. Fluff you, BO4. No one likes you. But yeah, MW19 unfortunately had to deal with this garbage after being the total opposite of BO4 for so long. Now for Black Ops Cold War two years ago. This COD was horrible for its cosmetic theme. I've pointed it out in so many videos across my channel, and the same with Vanguard. I think BO4 and Vanguard are tied for having the worst immersion, followed by Cold War and then maybe Advanced Warfare, and then like stopping there for sure. We only had three to four out of those 10 CODs where silly god-awful nonsense was everywhere. Saying it's been 10 years of this is very disingenuous. It's only been recent years. So yeah, that's why I say it's scraping the bottom of the barrel when you compare this to this. But that about wraps it up. This video is getting long enough, so let's quickly dive into the so-called pissed community Nero anchored. I promised I'd talk about it, so let's do it here. Alrighty, so here we are on Nero Cinema's Twitter, and this is the one and only tweet that started it all. <laughs> uh, we're gonna be going over the whole thread, I'll read it out to you guys, the whole thing, these two down here too, and then we'll go into the into the retweets and their quote retweets to see exactly what was said. But also it should go without being said, do not harass Nero Cinema. I actually might have to put like a little disclaimer at the start of this video, because I don't know, I got a little spicy more than I usually do, and I did it for comedic effect, I swear, I swear. <laughs> But yes, please, please don't send any hate towards Nero Cinema. He doesn't deserve it. It's just an opinion, okay? But yeah, this is the tweet where he compared uh, this skin to this one right here. He says, Infinity Ward adding a skin for reaching max level in MW2 is a great idea. Only downside, it looks pretty basic, which he's talking about this skin right here, the Shadow Company one. Like, grinds the game for dozens of days of playtime? Basic skin. Pay $30? You're Thunder King with two tracer packs and blueprints on top of it. I get they're a business, but it almost feels bad faith at this point. But, um... Yeah, Mr. Thunder over here. This is not what the actual skin looks like. He actually has a, a ton, a shit ton of visual effects going on around him. But anyway, he is comparing these two. And down here, he also says, like, if it's a matter of resources, they have hundreds of bundles. Why not reserve three to five really cool skins for people to grind out for instead of only rewarding whales? 
And I mean, yeah, I, I kind of agree. Like they have, they've made so much bank on the bundles. It's like, yeah, they could definitely afford to put in a couple skins for us, you know? Cause you know, this is like the, the first one we've gotten for leveling up. And I don't even think the previous three cards had anything. So it's not like I was already expecting anything, right? MDV19, it had like a weapon blueprint for reaching max level in some seasons. And then uh, Vanguard and Cold War might have done that too, but it was only for a one weapon blueprint, right? It wasn't for a skin or emblems or anything like that. So this is totally new. Nero also goes on to say that the idea might be if you get cool skins for free, you won't pay. But again, hundreds of bundles and people have different tastes as to what's good. I don't know. Hoping that Haunting has some cool stuff in store for grinders. Video soon. Also, ironically enough, Trigger Mike right here says that, uh, nah, it works because the people who are grinding for max level are also mostly the people crying for the Milsim skins. <laughs> Nero says good point, but in his video, Nero kind of like twisted it to say that, no, it's it's not the people grinding the max level that want Milsim skins. It's the people that grind campaign and and like co-op and raids that want the max level skins or the milsim skins right so i don't know what's going on here man but yeah going into the retweets we have here uh this is in another language so here we go it's simple and you don't understand this is what i've been waiting for for months obviously it's a different language so uh i don't know if it's going to translate as <laughs> well as english like five exciting marks like okay maybe maybe you could twist that as like uh making the community explode i don't know Someone said, it's happening in all caps. They're happy, they're excited. This guy says they could have at least blacked out the fit. Not gonna lie, even a casual sweat, the skin uh, fluffing sucks, but what you can expect from IW is dog poo. Yeah, I mean, they could have definitely blacked him out more like a, a Velikin skin. I'll put a, sh a picture on screen right now for you guys to see that, but I, I kind of agree with that. Like they could have done a pure black outfit and that would have been way better. <laughs> kind of like the new Rose skin. <laughs> this guy says, how are people saying this is an L? Nero is spitting straight up facts. I'm sick of the microtransaction BS. Back in the days, it actually felt so rewarding, leveling up and grinding for my guns. I don't even care enough to hit max level. This game feels soulless. <laughs> Yeah, ironically enough, he says soulless when you get when you got stuff like this in a modern warfare game. And the rest of the game is like modern warfare themed. Like, oh yeah, totally, dude, totally bad. But yeah, Nero got a lot of people saying, eh, I don't, I don't like this take of Nero's. It's an L. <laughs> And it's like, yeah, everyone has their own preference, right? But at the same time, as we saw in the other comments, Nero's only like level 600, and uh, the other guy thinks that max level players are the ones asking for milsims, so. Take it as you will, like, we don't really have any stats for to know for sure. My buddy Dan here says, I'd rather be a Shadow Company operator at LMFAO. <laughs> yeah, let's go! Me too. Me too, man. So this was like the Shadow Company skin in the last event, the Shadow Siege event, and I thought it looked really cool. Uh, I think we played it in third person though. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was in third person. And I thought the skin looked nice, like really nice. At least from the back, you know. Yeah, you're not even going to see the skin in first person because obviously you only see your gloves. But yeah, it is what it is. People want to show off, I guess. And well, if you're not on shipment, a, a dark as hell map, right? You're actually going to be able to see the skin. Uh, I feel like Nero was only wanting a uh, flashier skin because he plays shipment, right? And if your skin is flashy on shipment, it's going to glow in the dark. So <laughs> yeah, this is a, a more realistic operator. It doesn't glow in the dark and... I feel like a lot of people like that. But hey, maybe that's just me. I, th I think it stands out enough. This guy says I'd rather have been a Fortnite skin than Shadow Company because Task Force 141 skins are in a bundle and I don't have to waste my life. These suck and those in support for these decisions are masochists. <laughs> I think he is referring to like in a bundle, Task Force 1 for 1 in a bundle. I think he's referring to that ghost, not ghost, uh, that soap skin we missed out on during the Shadow, the Shadow Siege event. Because you either unlocked soap with a kind of a garbage looking camo, I'm not going to lie. It was like a yellow squiggly one. Or you could pick the other team where you got a not so good Shadow Company looking operator with a really good red and black camo. But obviously I, I'm pretty sure people are going to choose the, the Shadow Company side because like it's a first person game. You're you're gonna see the camo. Uh, I feel like that's what matters more. This guy says, let's purposefully ignore the people that were asking for that skin since launch. It's good that they're giving it out for free. I agree, dude. Uh, this very, very sought after skin. Um, but I don't know. I feel like it gets drowned out to the, the people that were wanting it because I mean, you got tons of bundles that look like this now. Hmm. Who's going to listen to the one guy who's like, eh, I don't like it. I want, I want this skin that they've shown off for, for 10 months. This guy says probably unpopular opinion in the COD community, but the basic shadow company dude is way cooler than the fledging, whatever the thunder bullshit is here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I, 
I totally agree too. Like just the, the comparison between the two, I just, I don't get it. Here too, it's literally the most sought out after skin in the game. People were begging for it for a long time. Do you not know that this was one of the most wanted skins in the game, Nero Cinema? People have been wanting this skin and asking it for months. Sometimes you're just taking the big fat L's, massive L's, man. Sorry, Cinema, this is an L take here. Literally don't care. Shadow Company Milsim skins go comedically hard, and I'll take that over some goofy, silly skins. And of course, you got little old me at the very top here. See, if you were a fan of Modern Warfare, this would be hella hype. It's literally cool as fuck. Shadow Company Operator, but because we have over the top flashy skins, this doesn't matter to some people. And that's basically my take from Nero Cinema's little tweet here. And then, yeah, let's get into the comments too. Blame Activision. I'm sure they don't really uh, allow them to create anything super special for free. I've liked the inclusion of seasonal camos, especially since some of them are animated. The Blowing Blossom one is great, especially after the update and that made it animated. Not really a negative comment, but let's continue. They should let you pick any skin in the store, but they'll never do that. Oh, I do it. I would love that too. That would that would have been really nice. But Nero says at that point though, the prestige of hitting the max rank is lost because people can't tell if you bought the skin or earned it. I mean, that's also true. <laughs> Me. Uh, people realizing over the top skins exist as cash grab. But Nero, it's one of the most wanted skins in the game. The amount of breadcrumbs grinders of COD nowadays are given is honestly sad. These are some 800 COD point bundles in the store and they have, sorry, and they haven't had a more suitable standout reward than this skin. Uh, 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 you guys remember the nuke skin? I mean, they, they've had, not that guy, but this guy right here. By the way, this one right here was the old nuke skin reward and then they released a bundle in the store that looked basically exactly the same. Like they had the exact same hood, but they added like some red across it. So like it, it stands out more than the nuke skin. So people were pretty pissed off because obviously they reused assets and then just like built on top of it, right? But uh, if this skin would have just been the standalone, obviously it would have stood out a lot more. Um, but then they ended up releasing this guy right here. And to me, <laughs> He looks, he looks just like a freaking Fortnite skin, like the, the little slurp guy right here. It, it even glows in game too. I'll have some gameplay up on screen if I can uh, find it. Cause I've run into it. I have been in lobbies with people uh, good enough to get a nuke skin. So there you have it. There's, there's Matsuki steak. This guy says I had to pay for this bundle and now it's free. What? I, I don't know what he's talking about. Cause no, this was not a skin that you could buy earlier. $20 bundles and a $7 game with no good incentive to grind the game for you paid $70 for. Uh, was always a company dealing in bad faith. The $20 price tag on bundles will only make more sense once the game is on Game Pass, but even still it is too much. $10 max per skin is probably fair on my IMO. Uh, I completely agree there too. Um, honestly, probably going to use up uh, assets that didn't make the release cut for whatever reason. It's a business. Uh, I'll take this personally over a skin that's uh, shooting laser beams and aliens. I personally just don't like the over the top stuff for real <laughs> i mean yeah dude he's so pissed off i can't believe you mr j call me weird but i actually prefer the plain basic skin over the majority of the bundles maybe it's just like the milsim tack look uh hit the tactical gameplay uh, shiz they do though lol again if, if you don't like the gameplay why why are you just trying to pick skins and stuff for people i uh, just maybe play a different game i don't know i feel like if like people are arguing that gameplay matters more than the uh, aesthetics, which I also agree, like gameplay does at the end of the day matter more. And I like the gameplay of Modern Warfare 2, but obviously you got some people that don't and yet they are wanting to say, hey, give me a skin to buy. Like, why? Why would you Why would you even want to support a game that you don't like? Uh, anyway, so, <laughs> surprisingly, that skin for reaching max level is a skin a lot of players are asking for, and the fact that they made it grindable is a good thing. I agree. Uh, a lot of people asked for this skin, so they made it to where you can grind the game to get it. Yeah, exactly, and I, I hope that grind continues in MW3, because if they just added it now, like, that's the kind of shitty thing. They added it so late in the, into its life cycle that I really didn't have an incentive throughout the whole year to grind. I mean, I've hit max level throughout the seasons too because they keep going up by 200 and then sometimes 150. I, I would have grinded a lot more because I've hit max level quite a few times throughout the year and like obviously that XP that after you reach max level like it goes nowhere. It just gets thrown into the abyss so that's unfortunate but I completely agree with this too. Oh, here we got a really pissed one. I think it's preference as I'd rather use the basic shadow company guy than glow stick. Oh, oh my heart. Oh, it's so hateful. I'm not a fan of getting to max level to get something people have uh, clamored for. Over the course of five seasons, I'm level uh, 740. I don't want to spend 
uh, the time to grind out 500 levels when the next cod is around the corner. And that's why I think it would be really smart of them just to let you carry over your level into the next cut. If not, like, yeah, I do agree. <laughs> y'all streamers still complaining, huh? And y'all get goofy skins and us Milsim players barely got this one until the last season. Like, y'all just find a way to complain about the, all the damn time. Um, yeah, yeah, there's, there's been a lot of Silly skins, man. Uh, very few Milsim skins. I know Nero said there's a lot, but no. There are actually, indeed, very few. There's some, uh, not actually Milsim Milsim skins. Like, they're just military themed, but they're not Milsim-like. For example, Tim the Tatman. That's not a, that's not a Milsim. That's just like military casual that's what i like I, I like military casual and milsons and i think military casual kind of offers that uh extra personalized uh, touch call of duty mfers when their military theme shooter features a military skin oh god oh no oh no oh no uh yeah they're just looking at it funny <laughs> it's because this specific skin has been asked for by a huge subset of the cod community it was originally for a disguise item in dmz but it went uh unused and was instead repurposed for shadow siege a large amount of people including me have been asking for this see like who is pissed i have not found a single person who's been just genuinely pissed at near over this and yeah the uh dmz disguise they changed it and i i love the new disguise they have in dmz i kind of wish that was the max rank skin he's got like a like a band of bullets over his like shoulder just stretching across his body like it looked really nice i don't know why they don't just use this design this was from mdiv19 so i mean it is Kind of similar, honestly. <laughs> and you know what? The funny thing about MDM19, they had like three different skins in MDM19 that were like Shadow Company themed. You could like progress through them. I think the first one actually looks like the Battle Pass uh, Shadow Company skin we got a while ago. I'll show them on screen right now and then. Here's the MDM19 ones because I'll show that off too. Why not? All right, we'll just get into a few more. This skin is actually one people wanted. The Battle Pass has all the stupid and goofy Fortnite characters you could want. Um, yeah, especially with the next season, season six, five or six, whatever it is. <laughs> Milsim dads have been very vocal on Reddit the past few months. Dude, I'm not a Milsim dad. I'm only 20. You YouTubers are impossible to please. Oof. Yeah, it, it kind of does feel like that sometimes. Like when you get, like finally we get a Milsim skin as a reward and people are like, oh, I don't like it. It's not goofy enough. And like it is down to preference, I guess. But like, what did you expect in a Modern Warfare COD? Maybe you're supposed to like please the Modern Warfare players, especially when it's made by Infinity Ward. Uh, that's kind of Infinity Ward's thing. I understand that Treyarch has more goofy stuff, but like, please don't enforce that into like Infinity Ward's CODs. Like, it just it's horrible. It's really demotivating for a lot of players like myself. Call of Duty players getting mad when a military shooter features a really cool Milsim guy instead of a magical thunder outfit. Superheroes or anthropomorphic cat people is so silly to me. You already have your silly outfits. One Milsim skin per season won't kill you yeah like we barely get milsims in, in a military themed shooter <laughs> uh. i actually prefer the skin over the zeus one i really wish there was a toggle option to turn off the flames on the ghost skin and the lightning one on the zeus skin so yeah that was the zeus skin that nero showed off uh very very noticeable lightning effects and you stand out in the dark i've seen comparisons on youtube where you just like <laughs> on him on that expo behind the stage like you sit in a dark corner and no you're gonna be revealed instantly <laughs> if the bonus reward was one with the gimmicky skins i wouldn't care i already didn't buy those from the bundles yep and let's just say this is the last one you guys can read these if you want um but i think shadow company skin is the perfect reward are you kidding me i hate those stupid bright uh vibrant magical weird skins they look dumb and they don't fit the game at all the shadow company skin looks awesome and fits in right definitely uh maining it if i get it see me too me too uh next here we have now nah, the shadow company skin is a lot better uh, opinion this was promoted for 11 whole fluffing months even since the beta and now you're all crying about it okay this one might be a little bit more negative uh we have a fluff ton of uh, bizarre skins and when we finally get a milsim you guys have to cry like babies because it is not fortnite enough lmfao okay maybe this one could have been a little bit pissed off but uh, uh, you could spin it that way i guess but like i, I mean <laughs> i totally agree it's just it's just fortnite it's the fortnite effect bro <laughs> everyone's just copying and it's and they're not copying it the right way um to be honest if this was real i'd be down for the the skin because i like the shadow company skins this is the same one we got for the shadow siege event but it should at least come with variants like sleeveless ones tan ones olive green or maybe just the koenig uh, group operators oh dude totally that would have been nice too 
like if you could just, just like customize the color of this one skin i mean we haven't gotten that yet we've had skin variants but like with multiple sort of like variants where like sleeveless maybe like you could remove the goggles or put different like sunglasses on that would have been really nice that would have felt like a very unique skin for the max reward and i think that would have been really cool the fact that there's these mtx in a game you pay for is a joke these mtx have basically ruined grinding oh dude totally i like it though lol uh, like i hate the weird skins like i get it is in a game and all but like i hate the movie reference crap uh like i just want to get greedy modern warfare game lol. yeah i mean that's what the game was advertised as it's no no like surprise that people want that it's a skin plenty of players have been asking for yep the season six battle pass are way better than the max level skin level. <laughs> i mean yeah you you get your skins that you want dude uh i know you want a flashy one but it's just not that way but yeah i'll leave a link to this in the description if you guys want to check it out uh nero cinema's tweet and his video so uh please do give him a watch uh support the homies of course uh, i don't know why cocaine is trending in canada but okay uh i think we'll end it on that note peace out homies have a good day drop a like Bye bye <laughs>